this tutorial I'm going to explain how about explain about how to use the multiple view concept in EWD application so multiple view is a popular in Win32 application most of them are aware, aware of that so how to implement this feature in EWD now I am going to uh, create one sample so we will see now so this feature uh, it's supported from Windows 10 creator updater so your target version must be Windows 10 creator update or above so this build 1503 SDK version it's supporting so okay uh, now I have created a one I have already created one small application and I added one button this button control call this button called as new view for clicking this button I am going to launch the view new view okay so now I'm going to code behind page file before that I am adding one one new page so so this view is called uh, new view so the page is created now what I'm going to do here I'm just make sure make uh, just differentiate I make one label control added here uh, that is uh, for example uh, text hey, I am new view okay now then sorry font size make uh, 25 and foreground color red and make margin like 20 okay now save it and I close it new view back to my main application here I'm going to add call this function sorry call to this page okay now so for that first we need the view page is ready but view is not yet ready so first we have to create the view so where my view equal to so we have to request the core application object uh, this is a core application is uh, nothing is a core of core instance for all the running apps for all each window no uh, each application is having its own core application so this core application I'm going to request create new view so this guy will give that the create new view create one new object one view object so this function contain that this is a function overloading contain two different arguments one for the default arguments another one is a running type Run, sorry runtime type now I'm going to use a default arguments only so after that this view I am going to navigate to that my new view sorry new page so for that I'm going to this view dot I am using the dispatcher dispatcher used to avoid the cross thread issue because we are in one application that means one page main page we are going to launch one more view so to avoid the cross thread issue we are going we are using the dispatcher and async in that one as in that uh, priority for dispatcher I make its normal priority only next uh, I'm going to implement this callback this function here so as you see here this is a async so we have to implement the async weight so button I changed the async and here implemented weight so it's ready so this way I need to load the new page so for loading page we have to use a frame object new frame the new frame just navigate to the navigate the page so type of my page is a new view so any argument no, no argument here right now so once is page ready so we have to assign to the window object content object assign this is your frame so you have to load this one 
So once again, I make it as activated. Activate. That's it. So our views is ready. View object is ready. We are uh, loading the page also. Then we are assigned to the window object. But still, we are just only prepared. We have to show it to the user. So for that, we you, we need to use a application switcher object. Application view switcher. Here lot of function is available. Uh, this tutorial I am going to use only two functions. One is try show as a standalone, and another one is a try show as a view model. First, I am going to use a try show as a standalone. So here you can see the view ID is requested. So this guy need which view I need to open. The view ID is it's it's nothing but is a handle window in Win32 application. H window generally they call a H window. So that we need for that. I need a request to this view only give that view ID so I'm just assigning here new view ID and default 0 okay then I'm just asking to the this view only sorry new ID to get the view you have to use the application view object only so application view object get current view give the id that's it we got the id so here are in the new id yes one more argument also that view size preference so what is for the new view size you want so here a lot of view size is available I'm just using the minimum view size only it's taken care by the OS so that's it uh, that's it ready now just rebuild so just summarize here first we need to request the view object sorry core application give the view object so once view object is ready using the dispatcher implement the page loading concept so why we are using dispatcher to avoid the cross thread issue okay next inside this one create one new frame assign which which page you want to load that frame yeah frame is ready next come to that window object assign uh, telling to this window you have to load this frame then activate Let's just focus on the user activate focus set sorry focus set next to launch show window we need the view id for that request to the application view object only get the current view give your id so we get the id then we are passing it the next argument you see this is a view size preference what size you want to load that view i'm just use minimum only so it this is the minimum you can see either 330 or 500 pixels like that okay now it's ready build also ready now just launch the application so if i click the new view so new view is ready here you can see new view one second i'll make max yes so here you can see two views loading so this one and that one so multiple view we can load it so just close the application so far i hope you can understand the next one is um, another method so I just comment this one use the second one second function application view switcher try it shows a view mode so view mode is easy to, to like a, it's like dialogue and it's like a dialogue size or a dialogue behavior kind of dialogue behavior. For this also view ID is required. We already get the view ID, so I'm reuse the same only. Then application mode you can use it, compact overlay or default. So I'm using the compact overlay mode only. That's it. Now launch the application. Now 
deploy starter so we should new view here you can see this is a compact overlay uh, you, that uh, maximize and minimize button are missing so it's like a dialog here also you can open the multiple view and one more scenario suppose if i close this one still this guy present so that we need to take care we need to while closing application we need to uh, add all the view ids in our collection we have to close it ourselves okay uh, i hope you can understand how to use the multiple view concept in real universal windows application programming thanks to all